Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I have a special treat for you today here, guys. I know this looks very, very archaic and old, but uh, let me tell you something, guys. This is a game called, well, it's called Quest for Glory 1 now, but at the time it first came out, it was called So You Want to Be a Hero, or Hero's Quest. And it came out in 1988. This was with an EGA computer. We're talking old school, guys. And what's so cool about this game, guys, is this was one of the first, if not the first, role-playing game that I ever played. Now, I'm not sure if it's the first, but it's definitely one of the first. And that was, this was kind of the thing that changed everything as far as gaming goes guys because this was the start of it all and this was created by sierra online or at that time it was just sierra and well the only way to to basically get it across to you guys is that to show you now we're going to turn the sound down a little bit here first we're going to have to pick either a fighter magic user or a thief. Now we're going to go with the default which is the fighter. And just like in the games now you could sit there you've got so many points and distribute it amongst your abilities and the more you use them the more they build. And some things that you are able to do you can't do until you build those particular attributes up. Now as you can see it's strength, intelligence, agility, vitality, luck, Typical things, weapon use, parry, dodge, stealth, pick locks, that's if you're a thief, throwing, climbing, and magic, that's if you're a magic user. Now, the thing that's interesting about this game, guys, is this is not a point-and-click thing. Even though I've got a mouse here, almost everything you do is controlled by typing it in. This is a text entry game. This goes way back, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name in here and we are going to distribute our points here so I tell you what you really need to get in for a fighter you need to get in quite a bit for strength weapon use and agility luck is not as important as some neither is intelligence dodge is important so we're gonna go ahead and get that taken up a little bit now if I remember how to do this let's see Oh, arrows to adjust values. Okay, we're gonna put that at five, and you can only do it in five increments of five. So we're gonna see stealth is not that important for a fighter, nor is pick lock. So we can save on those. But let's up our weapon use a little bit here. Up our agility, up our vitality. This will give us more health points. I'm gonna put a little bit more in intelligence, a little bit more in luck and I'm going to put more in parry a little bit in throwing because that can help and a little bit in climbing if you if I'm not mistaken actually I might take a little bit out of apparently I can't get but 10 on climbing let's there we go you got to have climbing because without climbing at five at least you're there's a lot of things you can't do in this particular game now, I haven't played this guys literally probably two decades no joke um, it's been 30 years it came out in 1988 or 89 I'm not absolutely certain but we've got those adjusted we're gonna go ahead and start and this is what it looks like guys I will have to read this or you can read it as we go this seems like a quiet little town on the porch ahead of you are two people the standing one is large rather ugly and playing with a yo-yo the seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. The man with the pipe greets you. Welcome to our town. You're lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, we certainly could use a hero around here. I am Sheriff Schultz Meinsterson. This is Otto Van Goon, my assistant. 
And what do you call yourself? Hawkeye? Good luck in your quest, Hawkeye. Alright, now the next thing to do is just to start walking around. Now you can do it by clicking, or you could do it with the... Whoops, can't do that. <laughs> you could do it with the arrow keys. Now, I kind of like to do the old arrow keys because that's the old way of doing things and that's how we did it in the day so first we're going to go to the hero's tale in welcome welcome traveler to the hero's tale in i am shimeen at your service may you find what you seek here actually let's go ahead and take the sound down just a little bit here it's a little loud let's see here Ah, so F2, now we don't necessarily need the sound, so that's alright. What we're going to do is we're going to sit down, and that's what you do, is you do exactly what you think. You have to type in sit. <laughs> that's better. I am Shima. Allow me to serve you under from afar. Do you wish food or drink? Let's try food. Okay, let's try drink. Order drink. You have to be pretty specific. I will fetch with you that which will satisfy your thirst. All right, and we just wait for. There we go. I bring that which you ordered. May it please and satisfy you. You thank Shima and pay her. Okay. Now the guy over here, if you look around at different things, you can find out what these things are. Now, you can't point and click, guys. This is the old way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at Cat. You see a small cat-like creature known as a cata. You've heard of that catas are common in the southern deserts. So talk, whoops, talk cata. Oh, well, I spelled it wrong. Talk cata. <laughs> very good food, very good drink. Find us in town. Sit, rest, you will be served by my Shima. Ask about town. Although in this valley I now have friends, I miss my homeland terribly. Ask about monsters. Now you can ask anybody this stuff. The world is filled with many kinds of creatures, both good and bad. Now he's not very helpful, is he, guys? <laughs> Alright, so what we'll do is we'll get up. So stand... Oh, my help if I drank my drink. The beverage goes down smoothly and well. Stand. See, this is this was tricky, guys. I mean, you had to do everything yourself. Now, we're going to do a little checking around here. And I believe on this side is the guild hall. Now, this is important. And there's other things here like the magic shop. Nobody sent an eyeball following you everywhere you go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. There's an old lady there, and she really has not much importance unless you're a thief, because you can basically steal stuff from her. This adventurer's guild hall reminds you of the one in your hometown. The traditional moose head and the other stuffed monsters. Saurus, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetor, and the terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see the registration book on the desk and the bulletin board full of job listings. The man seated by the fire must be the guildmaster. He is snoring. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over here and talk to the dude. Alright. Talk. No one responds. Okay, talk. Guild master. <laughs> <Zzz. laughs> ah! 
I was so busy I didn't notice you come in. Welcome, welcome. It is so seldom that we have new adventurers here. Most people think this valley is cursed. Hmm. There is a way, if I'm not mistaken, to somehow repeat your statements. But I don't remember how to do it. But if you go through the commands, there are some shortcuts like Control C for cast spell, Control F for fight, Control E for escape, and here it is, repeat, F3. So if you've got a statement, you don't have to sit there and keep typing it in every time you do it. There's time of day, there's character sheet, that tells you your stats, and ask about, look at, Control L, Control A is ask about. See, so there are some things that are kind of nice. So, we're going to ask about, control A, ask about town, because I think he went back to sleep. Oh, what a glorious day it was. Oh, hello there. <laughs> You know, that reminds me of a very little of the time of old Schultz and I. <laughs> Wait a minute, it'll come to me. <laughs> this guy's gonna... Oh boy. He's not gonna be much help about that. Control A. Ask about... Um, Schultz. He went to sleep again. Dag on it. All right, we're just gonna keep repeating ourselves. Schultz and I have been friends for a long time. He too has been a Grail adventurer. Now he is just the sheriff of the town. Okay, that's all he's gonna tell me. Control A. Do this fast before he falls asleep again. Castle. The castle is just north of the healer's house. Well, you can keep asking him questions and all day, basically, but he will eventually give you some information that may prove important. And for now, we're just going to kind of take a look around at the guild. There's a dragon's head up there. This is where you can do the control L thing. Like, control L, look at Cheetor. The head is like a panther's, but with a strong human-like quality. It is still rather frightening. The plaque reads, Cheetar slain by Wolfgang Adventurer, which is spelled wrong. <laughs> a bentwer. Seriously spelled wrong. Now, I believe the one on the left is a troll. I'm not sure what this one is. So, control L. Uh, picture picture or oh pff. control L head no not sure what that is anyway that might be a griffin that might be a griffin now that I think about it I don't remember if there's any griffins in this game this cross speed of an eagle and a lion could have torn a man apart when it was alive the plaque reads griffin Slain by Wolfgang Abentor. Oh, he's that's his name. Not Wolfgang the Adventurer, it's Wolfgang Abentor. Alright, so now we're going to look at the quest board. Ah, the only problem, you got to spell right. There we go. Now, here's the first one. Reward for return of lost ring. Acquire at healers. This poster is rather dusty and faded. The pictures of a small child with braids. Reward a 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Sperberg. Inquire at Sperberg Castle Gates. Reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description. Short, ugly, wears brightly colored robes. Has a habit of laughing continually. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. 
Wanted brigand leader. Description unknown appearance. Wears a cloak. Must provide proof of leader's identity. Ward of 60 gold coins and title of hero of the realm. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Everything happens at the Castle Gates, apparently. Notice, spell components needed, cash or trade for potions, inquire at the healers. And the last one, this poster seems to have been here for a while. It is a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. Reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet Bernard von Spielberg, inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. So, these are our quests, guys. These are the ones that we are going to be mainly doing at the same time as building our skills. Now, as you can see, as we've been going at the upper right up here, we've been acquiring a score. Now, obviously, the um, ultimate quest is to achieve a score 500. But the other thing is just to get through the game. And what's cool about this game is once you get all your attributes built up and you finish the game, you can save your character and then the second version, or the Quest for Glory 2, Reign of Fire, you can bring your character into the, quest, into the game with all the attributes and things that you achieved here, which is really, really cool. Very imaginative. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to now sign the registry. Oh sign book you sign your name into the adventurer's logbook with a flourish see that gave you an extra point see little things like that are important and sometimes looking at things uh, hate not being able <laughs> look at and work This is certainly a weird one. You've never seen anything quite like it. The plaque reads, Antwerp slain by two guys from Andromeda. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a strange creature. You'll only see that in this game. And then, of course, we're going to look at the moose. The plaque under the moose says, Courtesy of Sierra Online Prop Department. <laughs> There's a lot of humor strewn through this, guys. A lot of jokes, a lot of things. And... If we, if you are interested in me continuing to do this, just because it's fun, I will make sure that I <laughs> point out the certain things and what they mean if you're too young to understand. What? Oh, there we go. I thought you had to actually open it. Now, there are other things you can do to change how you walk and move. One thing is you can sneak, and let me show you how you do that. You just type in sneak. You're about as stealthy as the average goon, but... So you can't do that as a, if you're not a thief. So if you do run, then you can run. Sort of. There we go. But the only problem with that is you keep running unless you type in walk again now right now we don't need to run so we're going to check out the magic shop door just opens and when you pop in here you'll see some lightning and then the lady Zara appears I am Zara and my companion is Damiano that weird little guy on the left you see the items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. We have very little for ones such as you who have not been initiated, but what we have could prove useful. So there are some magic items, guys, that you can use even as a fighter and a thief. So... Okay, we'll just do an ask about. Whoops, did the wrong thing ask about magic there's much magic in this world and for those who know use how to use it there's magic in this little town and a good deal of magic in this valley 
What I sell here are merely tools to help those who have power. You may purchase restorative potions and scrolls from which you may learn spells if you have the potential. Ask about spells. You may you, we sell several magical uh, spells for study scrolls. You may purchase flame dart for 60 silver, fetch for 40, and open spell for 30. I don't know that he can even use those. The scrolls we sell are magical. You have but to read the spell and you will learn it. I also know that you can find a wonderful spell if you learn the secret of Arena's Peace. Ask about scrolls. Well, I guess it's all the same. Ask about potions. I think that was the other one. We have healing, vigor, and power potions. I see the healing and the vigor is ones you might need, guys. So definitely get those if you have the cash. Now the town is not big. It's not big at all. 